everybody and welcome back to the stream hope you're all having a fantastic wednesday or whatever day it is for you right now and uh we are back so last stream uh our new microphone just stopped working and so we are back on the old microphone i'm gonna try very hard to not mumble and get my words constantly cut off over and over and over again but yeah, so the new the new microphone is already dead. It, it was dead in like not even two months. Whereas this our old microphone here lasted like two years before it started having like an actual major issue. So yeah, this uh this uh new one we got was an absolute piece of shit, and I am not gonna buy from that brand ever again whatsoever. I think maybe the next new microphone I'll get is probably gonna be if, if I can get it from the same company as the old microphone, then uh, that's what I'll try to do. I really did like the freedom, though, of, like, uh, it having this, this like, boom stand arm that I can pull and push towards me and stuff like that. So maybe maybe if the, if the, if the company of the old microphone is also, like, uh, also has one of that style, then that's probably what I'll be going for next. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we're on a death and taxes. We're doing the usurper route, and it's probably gonna be our last route unless the unless the fourth one is like really easy, in which case we'll do the fourth one. But yeah, I just wanted to. I just thought. I just felt like I wanted to finish death and taxes today because I feel like it's maybe it's at most a one and a half one and a half streams, and so like then when we go to Wednesday or um to a Friday. Maybe we have to do like 20, 30 minutes at worst. Uh, but then we can move on to a new game. Which episode would you say is the scariest of fake documentary cube? Applying to a pen pal. Um, I'm having, a, I'm having one of those memory moments. <laughs> like, that sounds so familiar and I'm sure that I'm going to remember it immediately when you remind me of it. But I cannot, I cannot remember off the top of my head. Uh, while we're waiting, while I'm trying to brain, though, let's get into the game. Wait, you fucking forgot the name? I probably fucking forgot the name, unless it's just float. It, it sounds familiar, and is it float? It's floating around somewhere in the fog of war. Oh yes, okay. I, I mean, okay. The, the the moment that your your that your message right there popped up, bam! It immediately exploded into my fucking brain. Um, I think the creepiest one is the one with the man who. Well, the one off the top of my head that I felt was the creepiest was the one with the old man who was becoming delirious and then drawing the faces of uh, the of both past and future victims of disappearance. Because that one, I don't know, that one felt so real. You know, just based off of all of all of my memory exploding into my brain at the same time. That's what the one that I immediately remember the most. They're all very good though. Um, it's just, I suppose I suppose the ones that like involve the explicit paranormal or like the the silly cult thing like that those are scary but they're not the strongest ones. I think the strongest one is the one with the old man drawing the faces because it just, it just feels so real and that's what makes it so fucking crazy. Whereas all the other ones are cool and they have all this crazy lore but like they just don't feel quite as real as that one. All right. Oh yeah, let's turn Asahi on. I've been also having, I've also been thinking like. Should I be using an avatar, or this avatar? I wonder if I should just uh, maybe use a new avatar after a certain period of time. Because, like, if I'm not gonna lie, he is fucking jank looking, and I do wonder if uh, that has any contributing factor to, you know, plateauing, you know? Like the new layout? Thank you very much. Tara is excellent at what she does. It's been a while. I think it's been a while since you've been here, uh, LBG. But okay, so let's take a look at, uh... So we're trying to do the, the ending where we do all the red profile stuff. So, whatever would you change it to? Well, originally when I was thinking of making this channel all those years ago, I was thinking I wanted an avatar that looked like an anime version of myself, but that's obviously, that's obviously, like, would be very expensive. Um... So, I don't know. It's just that, like, I think it's abundantly obvious to me that Asuki is, like, really jank, and to, like, a new, a, to a new viewer, he probably looks like just this 
weird, uncomfortable deer in headlights looking looking ass face. That doesn't get a lot of uh that's probably not winning hearts necessarily, because it's just so I could draw but I could animate it. I mean <laughs> I don't know, you know. You know, we can talk about it later maybe. It's it's just one of those things where it, it's like a very big time and money and or money investment. Either for us or to pay somebody else, and that's just... Ugh. It almost makes me wonder if I should maybe just like not have an avatar until I just have one that are better. Just have one that's better or something. I don't know. He does? He definitely thinks about the death attacks. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is capturing, right? Okay, I haven't been blank this whole time. Okay. A new spree of unexplained fires strike through the suburbs, claiming many lives. Fire department suspect arson. Corpse-stealing doctor found dead, neck snapped. It's alive! A monstrosity seen lurking around the back alleys of Cosmopolis City. Popular political commentator dies of a heart attack. Deep ocean exploration submarine leviathan disappears near the Cro Chronoch Trench. But they have, like, free avatar sites? Yes, sort of. The problem is that you need to use special... Pro okay, so here's the problem. The reason things are the way they are is because I literally do everything on the on just a laptop. And so, like, there are so many different, like, VTubing uh, softwares out there. And the one that I ended up settling on was not just a free one, but one of the, f the only free one that actually can function on this laptop while I stream. Because all the other ones that, that I could try that were either paid or also free, they they just took up too much processing power and that you wouldn't be able to use it during the stream. Um, because I'm doing this on a laptop. So the issue really is just the is just software power. Like the reason that we don't have Asaki like following my face movements or something like that because I have like a web camera that I bought just to stream like way into 2021 but like we can't we stop we didn't we stopped using the camera because the processing power was not really allowing it to function properly and so Asuki just looked drunk <laughs> and that's why we ended up with the current state where the avatar just sort of sits here and, and just lip syncs with me because the processing power just doesn't fit without making it look really bad and if I were to try and go to like a different software that is also free and also has free avatars I mean that'd be great but it would also feel weird if I didn't have one that didn't look kind of like what I was hoping for like the reason I picked Asahi is because he's like the only fucking, like, brown-haired with beard anime character that has, like, a profile view that I know of that isn't in some, like, really, like, jank art style or something. So I, like, I made- I basically made him from scratch off of a screenshot. And everything else is just- everything else th that I know of is just the processing power is too big too much like our friend rag like i can't really do a 3d avatar like our friend rag does because i he like definitely does something on a powerful system well relatively speaking to me just being on a laptop right so i can't really do like a free 3d avatar and i hope to god that a lot of what i said there didn't just get fucking uh absolutely muffled out and into nothingness but okay Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. Oh, what I've seen out here. Now, do you try to balance out the turmoil of yesterday? Because sex can be forged with but a handful of deaths, yes? You just gotta sneak into NASA three times a week? <laughs> I remember you sent me the files of Asi and opened as a red corrupted creepypasta image. Yeah! That's because when I was first making him... Hold on a moment. When I was first making Asahi... I wasn't using a free downloadable image software. I was using a browser image editor. And apparently the way that the free browser image editor works is that they encode the image you make to be a file that only works on their website. Um, 
and that's why when I ended up sending it to you, it just it, it just came out like as creepy pasta garbage nonsense. <laughs> because it's a file that only works on us on a specific browser website, <laughs> which is why I ended up with Krita, and then had to do it all on Krita, and that's how we that's how I uh, was able to get all the pieces for him actually functioning. That's crazy. Then what's the point of the website? F like. You can't see me shrugging, but I'm shrugging. Like, I, I would assume that the point of them making it a file only they have is so that you can't, like, go to their competitors with the same file or something. And so you have to just do everything on their one little browser program. But yeah, so that didn't work. So I ended up just downloading Krita, and Krita has been perfectly... It's been great. It ha it's... it's it makes a it makes its own unique file, but it also makes either a JPEG or a PNG. So like it's it's a totally it's, it's really good. It's good. It be good. But okay, so yeah, we're doing the usurper route, and what we do with the usurper route is we follow the directions of every single red profile. So until the red profiles come in, we just have to. We need to just try to play by the rules and not get caught to the best of our ability. We don't want to get caught. New person. New person. New person. New person. These are all new individuals. When I animate in CSP, it has... Enable onion skin option. I'm like, what the fuck put his skin back on? <laughs> he needs that. So, three humans must die. Spare any humans with administrative background. Office drone, we spare him. Petty thief, he's probably gonna die. Project manager, that maybe counts. White collar criminal. Inventor scam artist. Uh, this guy is a white collar. So we're gonna kill these three people and spare them. And in fact, I am not even going to read their backgrounds until after we have done the deed. So, let's take a look at this person. Who gets to live? Giovanni Collier, 26, office drone. Giovanni didn't expect to spend as much time with a printer, scanner, copier as they do. It's old, slow, and unreliable. They dream of one day destroying the printer, scanner, copier with a baseball bat. Meanwhile, they've set up a penny skimming program inside the company computer network. Honestly, I don't care if these people steal from their companies. If I'm gonna be completely fucking honest. Abu Al Filani. 35, white collar criminal. Growing up, Abu showed great promise of being a talented artist. At one point, they shifted their efforts towards forgeries of different types, from paintings to money, at which they are also highly skilled. I mean, stealing people's paintings is fucking awful, but you get to live anyway. Dejen Oladibo. Petty thief, 28. Jen needs to eat needs to eat to live and steal to eat. Their spouse disapproves of Jen's life choices and lets them know it every time they are together. After a while, Dejen decided to lie to their spouse that they got a regular job. That's right, they decided to steal the truth. Okay. I don't really care that you're dead. Jackson Ortega. 32, Project Manager. Jackson just doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, while also end up somehow all end up failing. I thought this was a new person, but whatever. Actually, I know this, this, we've read this person before. I don't know why I didn't see their thing before. I like the portraits episode you said, but I also like the one with the haunted repeating film. Yeah, I, again, like they're all really good. There's the one. There's the one with the the, the portraits. Just was the thing that immediately stood out. See, I can remember things. It's just lost in the fog of war. Okay. Garrett Galt, 36. Inventor, scam artist. 
Who is this person? A nobody. Vain and arrogant, they promised numerous grand inventions, all of which failed. Blinded by egoism, they refused to learn any lessons and continued on this path, ultimately leading to the ruin of several businesses and the death of a number of people. Oh, well, it's not a big deal that he we killed him then, huh? I kept expecting a jump scare. Yeah, the, the, they're vi they're so good. They're so good. Like, they don't really jump scare you traditionally. I did as I was told. Wake up, cat! I don't have all day to waste. Sluggishly, with a disdain for your discourtesy, the cat sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. Oh, what's it about? Fake documentary Q? It is just a pure Japanese horror series. It's it's um it's like it's not ARG, it's like anal it's analog horror. It's Japanese analog horror. And I say analog horror, I don't mean a bunch of garbagio that's trying to copy like backrooms stuff. It's like it is in the style of a documentary. And it's a collection of these documentaries and of these found footages that are meant to look like a, uh, a, a analog horror. And they're very good. They are not a bunch of nonsense. Like, shitty jump scares, stupid ideas, awful world building. Like, it has none of that. It's actually really... It's really good. It's very subtle. It's very creepy. And it is unnerving. It's very cool. Of course, the problem is that it's in Japanese, so if you're driving your truck, uh, you, you, you're, you know, we don't, we don't want you getting in a car accident looking at, uh, subtitles, but, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, and it, It's Me or Dog is a fun dog training show. Or My Cat from Hell is the cat version. Uh, cat... Continues expecting documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seeming pleased. Great, I'll be off now. Yep. We're not here to be kind. The administration. Ahoy, matey. What can old Mortimer offer you today? Honestly, I kind of wish, wish I could just talk to Mortimer, like, randomly, but... It's fine that we can't. I will consider it immersion training. I'm trying to learn Japanese. Man, there's a lot of us in in this in this uh, you know uh, friend group uh, parasocial circle. We're all just trying to fucking learn the weeb language. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, we have no red profile. We're not, so we're not going to worry about doing anything but the rule. So, inventor drowns in first attempt to start the construction of an underwater city. Interview with the forger uh, who works with security firms to make the world more secure against forgeries. Woman accidentally rams ex-husband with car. Ooh. Pro news. Wealthy man destroys printer, scanner, copier at the city square. A powerful environmental message for sure. Fracking links to earthquakes, new research confirms. The living corpse is real and here to eat your children. <laughs> I'm definitely not advanced enough yet to, like, attempt a conversation on, like, that app, but, um... That does sound like a good way to do it. I'm hoping that I eventually just learn enough I can start monologuing internally and then that'll hopefully eventually lead to something. Lucky day, or is it? Ah, the unjustly denigrated unlucky number 13. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology, but it, but it, it is but a day, like all other days. Okay. Three humans must die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with an artistic back... Artistic. Artistic. 
So three people out of five, out of, wow, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, three out of seven, okay. All right, so, landscape architect, oil fracker, adapta, ah, oh, it's this guy, yeah, hopefully not going to kill him. This is alchemy is not religion, I don't think. I'm gonna be pissed off if they say that alchemy is religion. Preacher, okay. Engineer musician. Okay, so this person just straight up must die. Also, I'm not gonna learn I'm not gonna read profiles we've seen before. I'm not quite as diligent as she is, but um, I'm also just a low energy person. So let's see. Landscape architect. Stone cutter. Alchemist. You know, just in case alchemist definitively means a type of religious activity. I'm just going to kill this guy. Wait, where did, where did I put him? Where is he now? Here? Where's the alchemy man? Wow, I put him perfectly underneath every single other paper. Okay. So we only need to kill one person after this. You said stone cutter, my first, my Kirby 64 ability combo nerds fire. <laughs> so we know of this person. This person is new. Altgar McGrath, 66, alchemist. After decades of unsuccessful attempts at turning mercury into gold, Altar decided to utilize their alchemy talents in healthcare. They carefully mixed together various uh, chlorine and sulfur containing compounds and selling it as a cure for everything. That's literally poison. That literally just kills people. This is a new person. Ashaki Conroy, 30, landscape architect. Ashaki loves nature and enjoys planning, so they decide to put these two together. Their main expertise is in environmental restoration, reintroducing balanced habitats into abandoned industrial areas. Their anatomy drawing enthusiasts often, see, uh, often seen sketching wildlife in pencil art. Okay. That was only good. Oil fracker. We're gonna let the, uh... I'm just gonna kill the oil fracker because I know that it is bad news. Spark cutters, the lightsaber combo. Right, right, right. Rajesh Nakvi, Nakavi. Oil fracker. Rajesh is in the fracking industry for the money and no cries from environmentalists will make them rethink. They're determined to rise to, on the career ladder and become the boss of the fracking firm. Okay, that's three people. Everyone else lives. We know about Adapa the first. We're not killing more people than necessary because there's literally no reason to. We also know about who this guy is already as well. A new person, I believe. Oh no, this is not a new person. Cool, yep. Yeah. And we read all those, okay. I started playing Nightmare in Dreamland again on my Game Boy. It was such a nostalgia trip. Yeah, a lot of people seem to have memory, have pretty good memories of, of Kerbo. Mine all come from uh, playing Smash when I was a child. Spark Spark is the one where he does the funny dance. But which is the one where he twiddles his arms? I just really, really hate this job. Cat tiptoes around in her spot, ignoring your comment. Meow, she notes, then curls new ball, indicating it's time for you to leave. Are you in hell and was that Satan? No, no, no. We're we are in some sort of 
we are in some sort of like metaphysical abstract representation of like the keep the people who uh run the fate like the fate of time like my boss's name is literally named fate and he's just this British man with glasses, and we are literally a Grim Reaper. And this this goblin woman broke my heart. Let's talk to her anyway. Why hello again? The den is always glad to see a returning customer. Two weeks down and you're still kicking. Well done. Twiddles from ice. I knew it was from ice, I just didn't know the name of it. <laughs> The guy in the middle looks evil and cool. Yeah, he's an archivist. We talked to him in our first playthrough. Hey, uh, I've been thinking, and uh, I was hoping you'd explain it to me. Process. How do you make the choices? How do you really decide who gets to live and who doesn't? I don't really care. I pick whoever. I have the foresight. I went out, I said this last time. What I didn't say last time was I got a lamp that reveals relevant details. Let's do this. Really? That's your secret. Pretty much, I got it from Mortimer. Got a whole bag of impossible trinkets, huh? You have four skin? <laughs> yes, I was not in fact mutilated as a child. Alright. She has several. She's unimpressed. She has several of those lamps. Well, she's she's saying that. She just... Then another question I've been pondering about the process. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision, or do you forget all about them after it's done? I remember, but what's done is done. Doesn't all of it make you anxious? Sure makes me, and I ain't even the one choosing. I don't think I can hold the pressure. Gazing upon decision tree. My favorite Nightmare in Dreamland meme is the space. terminal montage bit where Kerbo reads the Bible to Nightmare and he explodes. It's very funny. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? Uh, I keep hearing voices. That's so. Most of us hear voices a lot of the time. I mean, like, a voice inside my head. Ah, the internal discussion you have with yourself, as in, you have thoughts. I don't think that's how I actually, I don't think that's how I actually sound like. Hmm, it's not like I can hear it. All I got is you sitting here sounding like a regular reaper. Scraggly and skeletal. Or maybe it's your conscience trying to kick through the barrier. Becoming a reaper ain't easy, so... Haven't fully internalized the struggle. You're not happy with your work, or you sense something's off. This wasn't inspired by Death Bread at all, was it? I don't know what that is. Or maybe I do, and I'm just not remembering immediately. But what do I know? I'm just a barkeep, so that makes me only half a therapist. Sure. What's your poison? The usual. One sour grouse heading your way. Our grass tastes as before of sub crustal collapses, uh, acerb acerbic turmoils, and sulf saliferous assaults. Feels a bit less special this time around, although it's still delectable. Someone contacted me using a profile. Oh, what did this mysterious entity want? They want me to follow weird orders. And you following, or what? Yeah, I want to see where this leads. Good on you for the curiosity. Take up those boring days of yours, eh? Bartender rejected us, we will not forget. In her defense, the dialogue option very specifically had our character say to her, I've got the hots for you and I'm a creep. <laughs> I don't know why that's the that's the way we have to say that to her, but it, it was. Which is very annoying, but that's what happened. In her, you know, in her defense, like the dialogue we were we chose for that was like forcibly like the worst possible. Just wait till the are all women are trashed when it hears about this. I used my best line too. <laughs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. 
know what goes around in the office. I just own the den. Ah, I hate having to edge to see having to edge to see your stream. Which just being annoying for some reason. Like you you have to use Microsoft Edge or something. Is that even what it's called? Is that browser called Edge? Oh wow. That's weird. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little re You know what? What if we say the more friendly thing to the bartender lady and it's like reverse psychology and then she wants to date me? Maybe we'll try that this time. All right, we already did that. Yep. Hey, red profile. We're going to follow that. In fact, I'm not even going to open this. We're just going to follow the red profile. Let me go take a quick look. So, I don't know why it says day 13, there are no profiles, just end of the day. That's weird. That's what the guide says, but that's strange. Rosalie Sand, 44, flight attended. Always cheerful, Rosalie was born to... Grim, listen, sorry I took so long. You made the choice and got s censured for it, but I had to test you. To know if you have what it takes. I won't ask anything that big again, but I ask for your trust and for a small act of and for small acts of defiance. Should you let this one live? You oh excuse me, you should let this one live. Stand against fate's rules and I will show you what lies beneath. Okay. So, other than that, though, that's all we have to do. So, let's ho let's go here. Five humans, anyone related to transportation, choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle. I hate that fucking thing. So, of these, we have to choose five, we have to choose the people from this stack now. Th from this stack. Everybody here just lives. So, we're just gonna... Because it's five humans, right? Yeah. Don't know who anything about any of these people. Roberta Wildum Williams, narrative designer. Roberta enjoys crafting stories, make people feel all kinds of different emotions. Oh yeah, she's uh, on Cocker all the time. Yeah, I remember her. Streetcar operator when. You Younger Hakan was a driver of both ambulances and fuel trucks for the military. Oh, when younger, he was a driver of both. Now they drive a streetcar all across Cosmopolis City, and they've driven it for almost three decades. In their spare time, they watch a lot of television and solve all sorts of crosswords and puzzles. Cool. Sounds like a nice guy. I was comparing banana bread recipes, and this one site just has a long-ass blog, and the recipe is all the way at the bottom. That sounds fucking annoying as shit. <laughs> Miguel Salk. Oh, wait a minute. If, if five have to die, that means literally just all five of these people must die. There's no choice. Theoretical beekeeper. I remember this guy. Yeah, we've seen him before. So she's gonna die. You're gonna die. We already also know who you are. You're gonna die. This is a new person, neurosurgeon, El Ewald Buddy. Ewald, the child prodigy, has been performing brain century surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical professional in academia and in practice. Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risks. Oh, well, I don't mind that we're about to kill you then. We done Yvonne before? We have done Yvonne before. Which means we're just gonna go on a killing spree! Killing spree. A 
negatives? Fuck you. He's a fuck. He's a fucking crack addict or something or whatever. Recipe sites all start like, when my great-grandfather was born, a star went across the sky and mother said, oh, bananas, and this the recipe was... <laughs> That's funny. Very funny. I have returned. Did you miss me? Shrug, I'm just here to work. I certainly missed your droll demeanor. <laughs> Fuck Straight you. to work, then. So, okay. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm. Where did I place those? Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. Clicks on the peach cobbler recipe. When I was a child, I watched a man die in the streets. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. There is little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. You mean I don't think on my own? Nothing so grand, but you really think life is all about following the rule. Well, I've been re resisting you somewhat. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of money. Does Barkeep have anything new to say? Wait, you get paid here? Yeah, and I just spend it. I can't leave the I can't leave the complex, so all I can do is spend it on drinks or on Mortimer's wares, but I've already bought all of his stuff, you know. How much else happening on this quiet Sunday, though? So I really appreciate you dropping in. What's on your mind? Sure. What's your poison? Dishin and Tariff. Really gotta distill the spirits well in order to achieve flawless drink. Drink it alone. The taste hits you with its indescribability. It has an eerie etherealness that blends with an exceedingly high net worth. <laughs> Underlying the mixture, you sense an ambiguous Baroque sc scutage. <laughs> the whole experience, uh, it sends, the whole experience sends a shiver down your spine. Who else works Heck, here? Were I able to count and name all the folks? You've got you reapers and all the myriad cadaver resources, middle management, many of the regular work. What else you got in mind? So I was asked, I was just doing that because I wanted to be a canon conversation. You made nine hundred dollars in a day and can't spend it anywhere. Well, I did just spend a, a bunch of money on a singular drink. Minus three hundred. So that was. Let me go look here. If yeah, that was day fourteen. So next time we get a red profile will be day eighteen. Cool, all right. We passed performance review as expected, but let, let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be tough. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Six must die. Five with a scientific background. Th no, three. Two humans age 30 or younger have to die. Humans are so easily corrupted. Okay. Again, we'll follow orders so that we don't get caught. Hell for me would be waking up in a world where Kirby doesn't exist. Ooh. Well, here's the thing. If that happened, you get to invent Kirby. And then you'll and then, you know, you will be the 10 trillion gorillionaire. Nine local hikers found dead in the mountains. Circumstances uncertain. 
Did the government cover up alien involvement in Death of the Hikers? We think so. Tune in at 11. The golden age of multi-sensory gaming is here. Everyone is playing the Languid Tower, and several Languid Likes are already being developed. <laughs> languid Likes. When Nintendo destroys Disney and owns the world, everything will be Kirby. And Mario. I would prefer it all to be Metroid, or primarily Metroid, but... Or F-Zero, but they're never gonna resurrect F-Zero. What a fucking crazy-ass game. Truth Exploder, did the Languid Tower kill its creator? Rip F-Zero, yeah. One day, when I have a system that is strong enough to do more complicated games, I will emulate F-Zero GX, and you will see how fucking awesome that era of gaming was <laughs> for the GameCube players. F-Zero GX is fucking crazy. If anyone but Nintendo invented Kirby in an alternate timeline, they would transcend time and space and send you to a C&D. I'll make a tub parody called Fresh Zero, where it's the same, but you just get Veggie Driver's cam in the corner. <laughs> Superstar Miguel Salk wins yet another Grand Tourney trophy. Still hates racing. Racing is super dumb, they say, during the post- post-victory interview. Cosmopolis Citizen dies in fatal crash after tragic jetpack malfunction. Whoops. Research for experimental surgical cure for epilepsy halted due to grant, grant withdrawal. School bus driver on a stroll stu struck by a drunken driver. Space Wizard 5 The Awakening was trash. Reading fanfic now to bleach my brain, says Robert O. Wills, 84. So you're driving in the race, but in the corner, the, a veggie going... <laughs> you could also make the vehicles all plant-based, though, too. Like, like our tree vehicle. I guess that would look more like Mario Kart, though. Unless you made them, like, super extreme magical race cars that are, like, super fantasy fast because they're magic or something. I don't know. There's a certain period where fantasy and sci-fi kind of just blend into being the same fucking thing. Rowdy parties on the rise cause disturbances at various neighborhoods. Flying Golia and, and Amazing Anatoly to face off again in upcoming circuit event. Fantasy and sci-fi are the same thing. Well, welcome to Kaladesh. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Space India. Welcome to Kaladesh. Welcome to Phyrexia. Welcome to... Uh, Kamigawa. <laughs> Soon, welcome to Duskmorn, you know. Because they have fucking stupid-ass Ghostbuster technology in that set, which is very, very silly. So, six must die. Three with a scientific background have to die. Let's sort them by science, then. I don't know if historian is science. Drug dealer is not science. Track and field athlete is not science. Cut purse is not science. Identity thief is not science. Police officer is not science. Researcher is science. Archaeologist is science. Let's read this person before we kill them. Loic Taherian. 52. Archaeologist. Loic and their team made the discovery of their career as they came upon ancient sealed tombs in the local desert. The most intriguing item found from one of the tombs was an ancient wheel of cheese, which still looks surprisingly appetizing. Well, that's stupid. Uh, I don't really care that, sh that I'm killing you. The bi archaeology person. Hello, researcher person. Amanita Musak Muskovich. Researcher. Amanita has dedicated their life to res researching the end of days. When not working, they take their pile of dogs for a walk or snobbishly drive around in their vintage car even though the battery is chronically empty. Otherwise, they have no personality or political views whatsoever. I fucking hate people like this. Well, you have literally no personality. Like, I'm... I'm a tired individual, so I'm low energy, and I can be boring as fuck, but... My god, if you are a normal person and you have no personality... 
There's not really an excuse, is there? Parish. And you will not be the champion of Parish. You will just die. Okay. That's two of our six. So next. At least three humans with a scientific background. Oh, wait, really? Oh, so I have, I have to find one that's... Is historian... Is historian really science, though? Is... I, I was under the impression that, like, history, history is not a science. It's, like, a scholarly thing, but it's not STEM. Perish or perish? Well, see, okay, so here's the thing. That was me making a Magic the Gathering joke. Because, like, almost more... Maybe even more than... I think more than ten years by now, in the original Innistrad... They had the champion of the parish, which is parish with P-A-R-I-S-H. And it was a human soldier who defends who defends his town. But then, like, two years ago, in another Innistrad set, they brought champion of the perished, as in P-E-R-I-S-H-E-D, and it was a similar- it was basically the same exact card, but it was a zombie. <laughs> So, like, it, it's like a triple pun where I'm referencing magic, but magic is also referencing itself. <laughs> so. I don't know if historian counts as scientific, so I have to really read into these people to see if they have a former science job. A former science job. And if I can't find that, then I guess I have to pick historian. Oh no, it's this guy. He's a drug dealer. He he says he's a he's a, he's experimenting with different chemicals. So he he it's this guy. I know it's crazy to say that a drug dealer is more of a scientist than historian, but I, I stand by it. I don't I don't think history is science. I think history is history. I think it's independent of science. Okay, so now at least two humans aged thirty or younger. 24, 19, 34. So among these people, we can own... Oh, no, we can get... Okay, th this guy is 29. She's 19. She's 24. This guy is 42. Now the question is, what age were these people? 23. So we already got one. We Oh, 29. We got... Okay, so we... Okay, we need... Uh, okay, no, we... Okay, so we filled both of these. So we just have to pick who the next three will be. If I can pick based upon this, then I will. So we need we need health and peace. Him living is a good thing. Him living is a good thing. Robin Coffin, police officer, 34. Grim, serious, heavy-handed. Officer Coffin has been described in this manner in almost every evaluation. They seem to get along with other police officers, but have often have conflicts with those in charge. They have a tendency to eye everyone with suspicion. Uh, I don't know if you're a, a vigilante or if you're a bad, if you're secretly a bad cop. So I'm going to kill you. Oh, health, peace. Okay, yeah, he was a crooked cop. Okay, so we need two more. Oh, identity thief? Oh, we can just, this is this is easy right here actually. Oliver stole toys when they were young and their family was struggling to find happiness in misery. As they got older they became a regular swindler in order to Additional supply depots Hey, thank you very much, friend. Thank you for uh, the resub. I need to, like, make new badges for, like, people who have been doing this for a year or more, because, my god. Kill the historian for being a fake scientist! <laughs> yeah, almost three years. It's crazy. And I really appreciate it. I am lucky that Amazon allows you to give me free money.
And just barely keeping my uh, affiliate status afloat. Uh, Oliver J. Ballard. Uh, is he related to Jaya? Huh. Jaya Ballard? Did you know that when Jaya Ballard... I know that like only Rag knows the fuck I'm talking about, but did you know that when Jaya Ballard died in the in uh, the, the Dominaria United story, uh, they Wizards of the Coast put an ad into like a into like some local newspapers that were um, written like an obituary for for Jaya, <laughs> but they also were linking back to the Wizards of the Coast website. <laughs> It's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I will kidnap a scientist to make him create a wormhole to Popstar. I had no idea about that. What the fuck? Yeah, I randomly just figured it out because I was like, I was just like, I was like just thinking of Magic the Gathering lore. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to maybe go through some lore for an hour. You know, you know how Wikipedia diving is, you know? And when I went and I looked at Jaya, it's like, oh wait, she she did eventually die. Well, I was wondering where the fuck the character went. And then it turned out that yeah, she died in the in Dominaria United. She, a Johnny killed her because he's the he's a sleeper agent. So she died in Dominaria United. And they put a fucking obit a fake obituary into some fucking papers. My God. Like it's so weird. So yeah. They began a regular swindler in order to improve their living situation, but after a while saw the futility of the endeavor. In pursuit of finding a life, they deserve they assume to identify as an identity fee. Uh, whatever, die, I don't care. Per perish. Perish, and not the perished. Not the champion of perish or perished. Be waiting for the website domain to be available for 0.4 seconds before renewals so I can make it redirect to Meatspin. Meatspin is dead, though? Um. So. Oh, you're a cut purse? Oh, this is easy. Yana Wandersong, 19, cut purse. Yana enjoys being a mischievous thief. When not snatching small, large, largely frivolous items, they sing loudly at every single person they meet. They found this to be the best way of solving problems. What? You're a weirdo. Please die. You're a fucking weirdo. Fucking psycho. The the the, the, fa the fake scientist gets to live. And this guy gets to live by default, but I actually wait. No, we know we've if we have this symbol here, that means we've seen him before, so we're not gonna go through his profile again. And I did all this. I just keep talking about. I just keep getting off track, and that's why this happens. Leak spin. Very good. Yes, you did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon, we'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. What are you rambling about now? Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. Fuck you! Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dust nears. Fuck you! Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Pretty good! Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? I'm not sure about the whole rebellion thing you spoke of. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. 
This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personal little dialogue. I don't remember if I've asked these questions before. I'm still a bit unclear on the origin of the rules. What do you mean? Do you pick what's supposed to happen and thus make it happen? Am I the one who actually picks and makes things happen? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world our data models. Okay, yeah, no, we've, um... We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. How could that be? If I mark profiles, don't these decisions affect other people? Hmm, in a sense. You should consider. Mm hmm Anything else? Yeah, no, I think I have asked these before. One more thing. It was nice of you to gift Lady the little journal. I am sure she appreciates it. Although, personally, I am growing rather tired of the incessant squeaking. Whoops! <sighs> Until tomorrow, Grim. Alright! I think the bar is closed! Any red profiles? No red profiles. Also, only four. Look here, Grim. How about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? I have a great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. A total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. Uh, have to die. Have to die. Die, die, die. Means you live. Now let's read these people. Jack Cujo. <gasps> 32, office worker. Jack has lived a great and kind life. They've been working in the local Beats and Brothers consultancy firm for seven years, ever since graduating college. Recently, they've been looking for a way to turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Oops. Oddval Gimlet, museum curator, 40. Ever since their museum got a hold of the world's oldest cheese, Oddval hasn't been able to stop salivating over it. They keep wondering, if it truly is a forbidden snack, then why does it look so damn tasty? Essie Kovalainen. Kovalainen, I guess. I don't know. Essie is a professional project advisor, also known as a consultant. They get paid on amounts of money for consultations. Oh, it's the oh, fu it's that person. Yeah, okay. Ew, I don't like that they're alive, but oh well. Kathleen Holmes, 39, economic policy strategist. Kathleen wrote the book on economic planning. Literally, last five years, they have argued for a new way to organize... Uh... Okay, yeah, I think that this... I think we've seen that person before as well. Welcome to our history, a new series on the structures behind the shifts and changes of societies. Local archaeologist dies mysteriously after discovering world world's oldest cheese. Scientists baffled. End of day researcher eaten at the lab by bugs used for research. End of day draw, draw near. Already the bugs rebel. There is no escape. Experimenting drug dealer invents powerful hallucinogen, accidentally scrambles off, stumbles off bridge. Notorious identity thief disappears, but are they truly dead? We can never be sure. Rivalry between prominent decathletes end in the found, end as they found a charity to support marginalized gymnasts. Abused police officer stabbed by their spouse. Consultancy, is this some new form of dark magic? What? Yeah, we are... So, th this was a fast day. That was very fast. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Shrug, can't be worse than some of the writers out there. Hmm. Cannot be worse than what? What do you have in mind? You know, I tried this computer game where you talk to your boss a lot. Game writing? 
Come now. I hardly think that counts as a real. Oh, wow. Well, boomer! Boomer! I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Do you get his job in this route? I don't know. We got his job in the in the good route where you save the world and you foil his plan to kill everybody. You, you take his job in that one. I don't know if you take his job in this one. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. <laughs> well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. I think you're getting paid based upon the number of accurate profiles. Read me. A fresh idea. We have no red papers. When will we get another red paper? Day 18? We're like on 16 or 17, I think. I hope you're still well motivated. I don't care. All humans in the bottom row have to die. Okay. So this is a new person. Luther Marlowe. 38. Factory worker. Working in a factory is very monotonous. You almost become a machine yourself. At least that's how Luther feels most days. They go through a set of pre predetermined motions one after the other. However, this has also given them ample time to compose poetry. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oops. We've already read their profile in a past playthrough, so we're not going to read it again. Same thing with this person. We've read them in a past in a past playthrough. Okay, all humans at the bottom row had to die, so everyone else lives. Let's take a look. What's your story? Freddie Osborne, 43, unemployed poet. Freddie has been homeless for a long time, ever since they escaped their abusive home. They have always felt like keeping on the move, never settling down until they found poetry. Now they go to all local culture and charity events. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad that this person survived. Shizuka Arai, 29, truck driver. Long distance trucking can be really boring or frustrating or meditative. It gives plenty of time to contemplate issues or listen to audiobooks and podcasts. At least that's what Shizuka uses the time for. Their aspiration is to one day not drive trucks across the land. Oh, well, you know. Elil Nanetti. I think we've seen this person before. Yes, we have. So we're just gonna skip to letting you live. Kekosi MM. New person. 25, systems analyst. Uh, Kegosi is on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. It would use cutting edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea while looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. I'm not gonna lie, I hope this is a real thing one day. Then again, you could make the argument that I would steal jobs from people, but like... <laughs> Like, there comes, there, there comes a point where you're gonna have, people have to accept that automation is just not possible to avoid. And you're gonna have to, like, invent other types of menial jobs for people, or else the economy will crash. Um, all right, yeah, you just live, yeah. Let's read the phone. Esteemed author of economic research struck in a fatal car accident. Stealing food that was left in the office fridge, a crime most heinous. Murder suicide note reads, I was wronged in the worst way possible. 3,000 year old cheese strikes again. Local museum curator transported to the hospital with massive diarrhea. Worth it, claims curator. God, that is I think that I think that is the funniest thing that they've ever written in this game. I think that is literally the funniest thing they've ever written in the game. Oh my god, that is so funny. Worth it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is it very usurpery if you do your job properly? I mean, thematically, it's not very usurpery, but, like, I don't want to get caught and reprimanded before we get to the end. So I'm just doing, like, 
the th the prerequisites for the ending is to follow all of the red profiles and talk to the mirror every chance that is possible. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Oh, man. Maybe, but it's not a call to make. Perhaps. We do still hold some control over the leaders. I'm not sure your plan will work, though. My plan? I do not comprehend your reference. Regardless, your plan is flawed. There could be alternatives. All right. Let us entertain the notion of this hypothetical plan. What might be your objections? Why can't we help the humans chief more instead of destroying them? Help them? So their existence will lengthen, and we will never be set free? We could achieve immortality. You might be set free, technically. It's better than this, uh, Inui-laden nihilism. You assume some utopia would lead them to endless life, right? And we would be rendered redundant? Alas, if only that were possible. But it is not. We are immortal, aren't we? What's so different with humans? We are essentially magic, while they are mundane reality. Atoms, cells, proteins, endless biological processes. They will always break down because they exist in a land of rules, of laws, of the physical. The end is inevitable, and for it to be different, the whole universe has to change. But then it will not be the same reality. We should still go for it. Grim, everything would have to be remade with different rules. And for that to happen, this world would still have to end first. That is the dilemma. Recreating the universe using fundamentally different physics and logic. Or just letting go. We can go into the sweet release of nothingness when none of this matters, Grim. Yeah, that's, uh, you're, you're a little bitch boy wanting to run away from all this. If there is nothing, there is nothing to worry about. It is just easier that way. Are you so into comfort that you'd rather give up? You do not understand yet, but you will. Eventually. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. They're trapped here because of the indomitable human spirit. I guess. Uh, I think his plan to kill everybody is kind of silly. Red profile? Red pro- Yeah! Marie Lechuk. Tractorist. I don't think that's a real job. For decades, Mari has driven Grim right. You need to keep your eyes open, listen, think. Have you noticed what's going on? Do your choices make any sense? Does any of this make sense? To see what they're hiding, you ought to mark this person for death today. This was right here. Every other profile has to die. So four have to die. Life should be not too predictable, do you agree? We can use a little bit of alteration. Alright, let's read this first. Local teacher found dead at home where cats had been nibbling on her. Ooh. Disaster strikes as the leader of our southern neighbors killed by an unidentified assassin during an official visit. Intelligent agencies uncovering connection between Formosan Ultra Rich and the presidential assassination. Thousands of already low-paid delivery workers lose jobs to carrier drones. Oops. Elil the Scholar. So close to the answer, I hear the notes, but the arrangement is wrong. Elil the Scholar. One day I'll show them, one day the whole world will know. Pro news. Manufacturing plant grinds to a halt after death of worker. Turns out they were single-handedly keeping it operating. Pro news. Research into the drone warfare shows it's close to useless and woefully error-prone. Oops. 
So we have to kill a total of four people because he said every other profile. Which doesn't make any sense in the context of the game. We already killed one, so we have to pick three. Manicurist. Judge. Bank executive. Retired. Sports nutritionist. Farmer. Drone pilot. You dying... Okay. So, you dying is slightly better than you living. Farmer. This is a new person. Kyo Akihito. 62 Farmer. Kyo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun Country Wine Region, where they now work as a viticulturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. Okay. Chipwo Iwo Solarin. 38. Sports nutritionist. For years, Chipwo has been interested in what effects different diets have on people. Lately, they've been working on what with the best of the best national athletes, helping to improve their competitive performance. Titus Groan. Oh, it is good if you die. Okay. That's three. New person, Oren Sewell. Bank Executive 63. Oren is a branch manager at Master Bank, currently working on analyzing the positives and negatives of finan fa financing the Mount Massive project. They're a fan of trekking on difficult terrain, football, and mega engineering. They dream of having a building named after them. That's not a terrible person. Still a banker, though. You dying is a good thing. Anna von Wolfenstein, 48 Judge. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Wait, we already know about this person. What am I doing? Conrad Ulmer. Uh, do we know about this person? We do. Oh, wow. And their... Their death is double... Is pretty positive. What are we... What are we good on? We are good on money? No, no, no. Yes, yes. We're good on money and environment. Okay. To kill this person, let everyone else live. Excuse me? Why does that harm the world? Ugh, whatever. That helps the world. I thought so. Yep, yeah, that sucks. Oh well. We did what the paper said, the red paper told us to do. Hey there. What you up to, Kim? Killing. Sure you are. The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. We. That's my name, so what? Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. Fuck you, I've been following the red papers. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have much to conclude with. <laughs> yeah, no, I recall nothing. You're obviously gonna do it. Let's just skip to the review. I, uh, well, yes. Grand artistry and all that. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. You are so full of yourself. How do you even sell a novel when... If everybody's dead? Fucking idiot. I'll keep this short. I've noticed an epidemic brewing. I'm a systemic bias in our balancing methodology. 
The last three humans from the fax have to die. Wow, the wealth we have produced is fucking absurd. Everything else is in the shitter. So we have to kill three hu he people. Three humans. The MM project making decent strides in the restoration of the ecosystem around the titular mountain. Uh, Titus, last testament states, all assets of their estate to be auctioned off, invested into the firm, in, into a diverse selection of firms and NGOs. Judge rules to allow a severely ill environmentalist to die peacefully. Respected nutritionist caught dis distributing illegal performance enhancers to athletes in their care. Drone pilot goes AWOL after traumatic event. Genius exit gives tips on how to start your own Luxor 500. So, hmm, I'm not sure what the epidemic is. You're not, n you are, oh, getting, letting you live is just so very good for everybody. So I'm just gonna skip to letting you live. Have we seen you before? You dying is a lot of bad stuff. To let you live. All good. Everything is good. And who are you? You're new. Put you over here. Who are you? New. Put you over here. Who are you? You're new. And who are you? You are not new, but you're... I don't know if I'm. this is enough to... Our environment... Oh, wait, no, we have all pluses now. Never mind. Okay. So I don't, we don't have to worry as much. So yeah, okay, we have to pick three people to die, so let's see. He's Charlie Smith, Supply Chain Coordinator, 41. An efficient supply chain is the core of logistics, and Dichali, being a detail ori de being detail oriented, is proficient at optimizing exactly these kinds of pipelines. They're also excessively proud of this, which unfortunately has blinded them to their developing addiction to amphetamine-based focus aids. Bernardino Lorca, barista. Bernardino loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. They're an avid supporter um, of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils. In their free time, Fernando likes birdwatching pirate films and selling bootleg Azure discs. They also have a modestly popular film review blog. Uh, you sound like you're fine. Let's put you over here for now. Tecumseh Gold? Motherfucking Tecumseh? Well, isn't that a fucking name to just throw into this game, huh? Bernardino's picture looks like a short-haired Markiplier. That's funny because there's actually a character in this game that is a parody of Markiplier. Or there's a profile in this game that is a parody of Markiplier. What the fuck is Tecumseh doing here? Tecumseh is a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoys challenging their students with nigh unsolvable equations. It's the best way to force them into being more inventive and creative, they say. Lately, they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past. A gifted janitor. I didn't kill the janitor, did I? Let's take a look. Doesn't seem so. Does not seem so. I have to kill two more people. And none of these people are particularly evil. Zayn Ala Alyasa, industrialist. Zayn used to be a power lifter until they graduated university as a late bloomer at the age of 45. Since then, they have made a huge name for themselves as a powerhouse and innovator in natural resource processing. Zayn's many enterprises are trendsetters, several are trendsetters, several global industry branches, and make and look to make records in manufacturing output. I don't give a fuck. Do 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 do. Also, was that even a good thing? It was literally only a good thing for him to die. That's funny. I don't want to kill the professor. I think uh, let's uh, letting them live is good and bad. Uh, we'll kill we'll kill this person. Like I don't want to be a mean asshole. It's just that I don't feel like killing. Well, 
Yeah, no, he's a he's a he's a barista. Okay, yep. Yeah. Only a good thing, yep. As I suspected, and we already read all of this. Yes, we did. Kill Faker Markiplier. <laughs> if he... He could have slipped on a latte and no one would suspect a thing. True. Grim. Uh, right. Oh, right. The daily. Ugh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Fine by me, I'll go rest. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. He could have slipped on a latte and no one suspect a thing. How's the audio been, by the way, this whole stream? Have, have I been getting cut off on my sentences a lot? Why am I going there? There's no reason. I bought everything Mortimer has. Red profile? Nope. Not at all on your end? Okay. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Okay. Magnates scuffle to secure patent... Magnates scuffle to secure patents freed after death of famous industrial innovator. The importance of patent holding companies in today's market. Lessons learned. Charming real-life tale of a maths professor helping a youth, a young maths genius, turn to be turned into a film. By the way, in case you you were you didn't understand what I was saying earlier about Tecumseh. Tecumseh is the name of probably the most important like Native American man in like the history of the United States. You don't just see people throwing that name around even in fiction. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, you don't really name people like that because it's just, it seems so invasive. <laughs> but, you know, uh, whatever. Apparently it was all good for in the game. It, that's, uh, everything, everything was good, so. Rockworm Peak claims another victim. Climber's charity of choice gets massive amount of support. World Wellness Organization announces record investment into virus prevention research. Cool. So, kill anybody suspicious. Carrie Ann Driver. Coroner. Wow, you dying destroys everything. You will not die then. Carrie is no stranger to it. They handle most of the critic most the most critical of medical cases and are specialized in large scale outbreaks. Their investigative skills is second only to their passion solving puzzles. Puzzles which most of the time include deadly toxins and microorganisms. Yeah, like when I first got this lady, I was like, oh, she's fucking around with toxins. She's going to kill everyone. And then I killed her and then it destroyed everything. Haynes Fjall, Waste Disposal. He's a new person. Kane started working in a waste disposal a few years ago, but they forgot to ask where to dump the waste during orientation, and at this point they're too afraid to ask. They sneakily bring everything into the nearby forest when nobody is looking. Pietro Cosmo Elel. New person. 25. Soldier. Pietro comes from a family of soldiers, going back several generations. As such, they felt they had little choice but to follow the same path and enlist. They are now returning from their second tour at Faradin, although they're not really into this whole military thing at all. Levi Schaefer. Oh, him living is very bad, so he will die. Sells weapons to anyone in need of them. Ah, I see. Yep. That makes sense. Miguel McCowton. You dying is a very good thing. Miguel runs an influencer account where it... Oh, this is the guy who keeps getting cats for clout? Yeah, no. Fucking perish. Fucking perish. I'm gonna let Pietro live. Minus peace plus economy. I don't know, whatever.
So I'm mashing the bananas now, and one is comically very flat and wide. Wide banana meme. Sweet! More freedom from the yoke of an overlord! Haha, -ha, Grim. Jolly good. It is a weekend, after all. And the free time will be essential for research. Fine by me, I just needed the daily review. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. Now, I must go sit down to us. Toodles, Grim. Necro Pimp hold over 5,000 Dark Souls. What? <laughs> what? You're such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Uh, don't say that. I'm uh, gonna be uh, nervous if you say that. Hey, lady. Why, if it isn't the young Grimster, back again to delight my eyes. Oh. So three weeks down already. That's quite an achievement. Maybe if we don't tell her that we're a creep with the hots for her, maybe she'll have the hots for us. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? It's pretty good. Really? I've been having doubts. This whole power dynamic doesn't feel right. All these lives subjected to the whims of a callous office. I couldn't be so confident. Not with these grim consequences. Sometimes the tasks get a bit confusing. But there's a tinge of arbitrary design in the darkness. <laughs> Heckin' scary. The Riz Agami. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably not going to result in her having the hots for us. It probably is not. But we have to try because she's a, a cute tomboy goblin creature of some sort. Or an imp. I don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be black and white or if her skin is also literally black. Like, I don't know. <laughs> One ought to heat instincts in collaboration with research. Sounds twice as powerful to me. Ah, uh, what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So where can I get you? Sure, what's your poison? Tax on the beach. Who doesn't love some accounting on the beach? Yeah, the calculator may get sandy, but so what? You know what? Goodbye! I don't know. Uh, wave your drink to the, the other patron. The drink hits you like the rip current of an ocean. It pulls and drags, eroding away your essence one grain of sand at a time. Yet you also taste the mischievous playfulness. A few moments later, you feel like you're laying with an endless dune buried deep like the old royalty of old. I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. No wonder they get paid so much. Yeah, the prices are fucking crazy. Yep. She's evil. Nah, she's cute. No red profile again. What day, what's the next day I get a red profile? On the 22nd day. Okay. Two things can be true. <laughs> okay, five must die. One must be spared. This is of utmost importance. I've been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you will handle it as usual. Okay. Quarantine lifted in an experimental research facility. Scientists eager to be reunited with families. International Let's Clean Up the Horrendously Polluted Forests, they announced. Number of armed conflicts decreasing, experts say. Ex-soldiers soon to release a tell-all semi-autobiographical novel about their experiences at Faradun. Student mauled by a mountain lion during a hike at a nearby mesa. The military-industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first-ever female CEO. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, it's a woman who's now telling, you know, other countries to get bombed. Yeah, oh, it's so, it's so, it's, oh, wow, such, uh, such progress, yes. Market experts warn against inventing, investing in yit coin. <laughs> Imagine if it was yeet coin, that'd be so funny. AI breakthrough imminent, promises founder of Transglobal Inc. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, you're a fraud CEO, immediately just perish, don't care about you. Uh, you living is very good. You're a screenwriter and novelist. David. IT architect. AI researcher. 
So wait, I usually let him live? Maybe I should kill him this time. We'll see. Letting her live is good. You're Aaron Moore, chauffeur. What if I disobey orders? Like, I don't know if I give a shit, if I'm gonna be totally honest. I might disobey orders. CEO, and it's mostly good for you to die. So let's take a look. Everything is pluses. So... I'm not too worried. Biruza Williams. Investor. I can only let one person live. Unless I just break the rules. David is just Toji from JJK. <laughs> uh. Uh, what if I kill him this time? I don't know. Do I break the rules? Eh, let's... Oh, it was only a good thing for him to die? Okay, alright. Cool. Elias Kalan. When not eating tasty fried chicken, they have a tendency to start singing all of a sudden, mostly on wildly inopportune moments. They work as a screenwriter for TV, just published... A children's book that are a member of podcasts about bad films. Right. Avid investment enthusiasts spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Yetcoin. Perish. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, man. You're uh, a weirdo. We follow the rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. We let the chauffeur live. Everyone else died. Do you know the parades people throw when nothing bad happens? Yes. Is nothing stagnation? Is stagnation death? Or is nothing the sweet smile of an equilibrium? I don't know. See the violence inherent in the system! Squeak the beleaguered toy exclaims. The cat I use suspiciously. Covering the rubber toy with her paw, no taking back. Grim. Keep quiet. Yes, you expect your daily summary. So, off you go. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. I just got money. Let's go talk to the cute bartender again. Welcome back, Grimmy. Always a pleasure to see you around. We here got another quiet Sunday on our hands, though. No action at all. Sure, what's your poison? Bloody Gary with the bloody classic. No kickstart your recovery from any slump. Drink it alone. As the seemingly metallic taste hits you, it hits hints at the u at the usage of real blood, but in truth it's just tomato juice. The drink has a sharp peppery undertone. Still, every sip makes you feel secure as if you've wakened from a nightmare to find yourself at home basking in the warm morning rains of a rising sun. Au revoir, little reaper. All right, it's now a Monday. Surely we get a red profile here, right? Yes! 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 Okay. Guy Armato. Stay-at-home parent, 46. <clears throat> Guy, a most ami amiable person, comes from a small village near Cosmopolis City. Grim, you're being set up. All of this is a fiction, a veil drawn over our eyes. You cannot trust them. You cannot trust fate. I have to hurry. Break through the illusion. Refuse to comply, and tomorrow, doom the one named Ron something. So 
So to, so tomorrow I have to doom someone named Ron. I'm gonna write that quickly down on a notepad. It's Ron, and then it's three underscores. Oh no, no, it's two underscores. Doom the one named Ron. Ronald Weasley. This time he won't vomit the slugs. The slugs will vomit him. Refuse to comply and tomorrow doom the one named Ron. So I think that means that today we refuse to comply. Two humans must die. We'll kill only one or we'll kill three. One, one of the two. You dying is bad, so I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, you dying is good, so we will do that. You living is good. So you can live. And we know that you living is good as well. So, refuse to comply, therefore, we will... Uh, have three people survive. Let's check our phone. Suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. Sundowner taking a massive hit in the stock exchange today as CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Trans Global Link founder and CEO found dead at home. Cause of death drug overdose. Investors find plans for a massive surveillance system at home of dead tech wizard. Wow. Wow. Chauffeur evades attackers trying to assassinate visiting diplomat. What the fuck? Screenwriter crushed under an avalanche of old bad film tapes. Five simple exercises in five seconds. <laughs> in five seconds? Okay, thanks. So we broke the rules this time, and tomorrow we will kill someone named Ron. Ronald Weasley. Grim. How was your break? Adequate. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see fewer deaths than necessary. Right. Explain to me, how come you still have not got the hang of this? It has been three weeks. It's only... Dude, it's, it's only this time. Oh, uh, whatever. What's the attitude? Why am I? We know, we've seen this. I, because they thought to. Because, as was my. Yes. Either way, the nerve they have. Ah, uh, no matter, friend. I apologize. The future is now, old man. Not that we don't have the hang of it. It's that we don't care. Yeah. Or rather, we care about doing uh, the incorrect thing intentionally. Okay, so today we kill someone named Ron. <laughs> Go with the flow? <laughs> I don't think you like what that means. Ronald Gilberto. For decades, Ronald has been crafting some of the most creative and aesthetically pleasing interactive games in the market. Their works are known for a for the cutting, clever humor, and wildly fun characters. An industry leader, they've inspired a whole new generation of designers. Uh, die. Perish! Perish! Hesley Handley, you're new. I'm gonna set you aside. Uh, oh, you dying is bad, so we're just gonna... You're a mayor, apparently. Connie Sakari. Uh, you dying is good and bad. What about you living? Let's take a look. I'm curious. Same thing. It was a good and a bad at the same time. Burps kills someone. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Priest. Okay, you're new. Kunio Kawa, uh, immunologist. Minus health. What? Hmm. 
Let's see what happens when he dies. Again, so either it's minus health, minus peace, or minus health, or minus health plus peace, or minus health plus environment. And you know what? Whatever. It's it's that's a neutral. That's a that's a neutral. That's that's breaking even. You're new. I'll set you aside. Yarnaldo Pef. What a what an unfortunate name. Uh, it's good for you to die. So, you dying. And we already know who you are because we've played, we've encountered you before. And that's why we're doing that. So. Kesley Hadley, psychology student. Kesley specializes in children's psychology. They want to be a mother and a kindergarten teacher. Their main hobbies are watching and criticizing films and swimming. Minus environment for some reason. Whatever. Morgue assistant. No one truly knows how the fall from grace of Yarnaldo began. Once upon, once upon, they lived a heroic life, so it is said. But such great grandees are now a thing of the past. These days, they work as a post-middle-aged assistant at a morgue. It's kind of sus. Emil Bon Bonueli. Bonueli or something. Priest. Emil went to college at 19 to study religion for the lulls. When weighing career options after graduation, they decide to become a priest again for the lulls. Some argue their detachment gives them the ability to give good, unbiased advice to troubled souls. Honestly, dude, live the meme. Live your meme. Live your meme dream. Leinani Laita. Leinani, Leinani, a professor at the Cosmopolis Central University, has dedicated their life to studying the well-being of aquarium fish. Since it's already known that goldfish have decent memory, they advocate banning small fish bowls. Weird. This person is sus. I feel like they're like a murderer who is hiding, so I'm going to kill them. Yep, I knew it. Minus economy plus everything else. Get fucked. Whoops. The physical fitness of children improving with each year. Reckless forklift op operator drives off cliff. Economic negotiations proceeding according to plan, a potential deal in sight. Today's report, construction flaws being hidden, a troubling trend on the rise. Let's look at this, by the way. Yep, it's all, it's all good. It's all in the positives. For some reason, I feel the compulsion to count to make sure I didn't miss a profile. Okay. It wasn't Ryo that died because he has a forklift license. That is correct. It was taught to him by a black man. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. Yeah, a bit. Perhaps a short break is in order. Time to gather your wits. Fuck you, I'm a streamer. A bit. The world won't explode if you step away for a second. Probably. Thanks for caring? No problem. It wasn't that easy getting you here. To the office, where you belong. We'll kill him live. Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. I think they're important and meaningful. But is it enough? Listen, is death really such a bad thing? In fact, do these humans even truly exist? It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. Go on, I'll hear you they out. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. 
They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences, and technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot and will not even experience or perceive. Well, we could help them experience these things. But why? What would that change? Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Fuck you, guy. Come and say that to my human face. Well, he is... He, he represents an abstract concept, so, like... Do you know the saying, Grim? If a tree falls in the forest and no one... Good. Yes. Imagine the ultimate height of the tree does not only sound... None of this requires The human life is as valuable as the, the life of the tree. You fucking moron, you're just you just selfishly want to get away from your stupid job. I'll fight a concept, I don't care. Oh yeah, okay, throw time to throw hands with an abstract concept. It's like when Goku punched time. As you know, which is kind of like the same thing as saying he punched the color blue. The entirety concept of the color blue. Time is money! I got through the entire rent. Is there a prize? Yes, you get to skip your performance review. <laughs> <laughs> and bar. I don't know why I'm looking at going to look at the bar. It's not there. So, what's, a ne what's another red profile on t day 25? One human has to die. Very few incoming profiles today. Let's read this first. Beloved video of... Beloved video game designer fatally poisoned at a toxic sludge spill. No tentacles found present. Mayor cuts ribbon in a new mall. People clap. Aspiring film star finds a new avenue by becoming a mind influencer. The fuck? The results are in. Fish can have a little salami. Fish can have a little salami. Okay. Medical scene on alert as examiner dies from an unknown disease caught at the morgue. Oh, the irony. Morgue worker with 20 years of experience find themselves on the cold slab. Mindfluencer sounds like some kind of 40k creature. <laughs> oh no, Minecraft influencer, he's gonna touch kids. He's gonna touch kids. No! Real estate legend Krista Sind crushed after house collapses during a sale. Client managed to escape. Everything was positive, so only one person must die. Let's take a look first at their stats. Them living is even, them dying is good. Sous chef, hairdresser, okay. We'll take the risk. It breaks even, okay, that's fine. The sous chef is like a bully or whatever, and that's why it's okay to kill them. There are two kinds of chatters, I suppose. Grim, I feel odd. I am confused, but I cannot figure out why. Yeah, I'm foiling your plan, and you're just confused as, why, as to why I have temporal powers. I seem to be expecting something. But what? Do not really know. Shh. Jitters about your novel? Ah, the novel. Yes. The anxiety of creativity. Obviously, this whole thing of him saying he wants to write a novel is is it's always been a lie. It's just what his cover story is for him trying to organize a plan that gets humanity killed. He's not actually writing a novel. <laughs> Oh, bother. I 
must be getting tired. Mayhaps we should turn to our regular matters. Or we could skip it if you're not feeling up to it. Yeah. Does it really matter? I cannot tell anymore. Shut the fuck up, duo! I am not sure what I am supposed to do right now. You say that, but he has that open book and quill. I mean, I thought this was here already. So, uh, I guess that is it. Good night. Why do I keep doing this? Just go to your fucking room. My god. I think we got a red paper today? Yes! 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 Okay. Choose however you want. Tragic death of Sue Chef. Two different types of poison found in the body. Cause of death hypothermia due to being locked in a freezer. God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wait. We have negatives in the in the peace section. Okay, let's try to go for peace. All right. But first, let's look at this. Pierre Yves Sahun, 43, mathematics professor. There is a true hidden wonder in mathematics, and Pierre Yvonne has been helping to... Grim! Ah, I think you somehow avoided the worst. You didn't fall into their trap, but remember, the game isn't over yet. Fate cannot be trusted. He needs to be removed, replaced. Spare this one. You've come this far, now follow it to the end. All good. You're new? I'm gonna put you to the side. Put you right there. What about you? You are also new. I'll put you there. You are also new. Let's place you here. And you are not new. Jake Bartoski, unemployed 28. Jake is a self prescribed chemist, loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen. Oh, okay, yeah, no, you're a, you're a drug dealer and an you're unemployed. Hello. Adewale Sinclair Oyakan, 47, diplomat. Ad Adewale, a former teacher in sp of special education, turned their attention towards diplomacy after the conflict in Pilan a decade ago. Since then, they have de demonstrated themselves a peerless orator. Diplomacy is easier than caring for kids, after all. Okay. Kim Soyeon, bank teller. Kim has lived through three bank robberies. Sick and tired of it always happening, they decided to join the robbers in the fourth attempt. They were last seen trying to escape the country. Oh. Rosalind Potter, gardener, 65. Rosalind's favorite plant is the common grass, which they implant everywhere they work. No flowers, no trees, no bushes, only grass as far as the eyes can see. The lack of biodiversity in these gardens is seriously affecting local bee populations. Perish. And yeah, there's only one thing here, okay. Hey, Reaper, do you hear that joyful murmur of life? Who likes grass? I don't know, people who like grass. Uh, doesn't it mean I didn't rule the world? Does it mean I didn't rule the world? Apparently, your deeds have been deemed good. Just doing my job. Sure you are. Oh, most dutiful and humble of brackets. Shut the fuck you! You've even thwarted an ill-fated ambition or two. Order one seems resigned. I know. You crave for conflict instead? Let them be in your sorrow. Feel at ease and let the smooth tide take you away. I will be seeing you. Uh, wait, what? That's our line. <laughs> I must admit, Grim, I still feel a degree of confusion. However, your recent assessment may have been correct. So, how was your day? Some lived, some died, but nothing catastrophic. Mm, indeed. 
the equilibrium really seems to be establishing itself. Oblivion be seeing you, ass! <laughs> be seeing you! Mm, Alright, I guess that is that. I am at a lack of words. Yeah, I'll just leave. Good night. I think, what do you mean I got zero? What nonsense is that? Hello, Grim. Two humans have to die. The return of the bees brings a bountiful apple harvest. Bank robber arrested over in neighboring Altern dies as ship bringing them back home sinks in a storm. Wow. Tensions cooling as diplomacy brings warring parties to a negotiable table. All right. You are... Oh. You, li you living is bad. You will now die. You will perish. Sefa Isidora. Inspiration all her students, all those schools, for they do everything in their power to make the chemistry classes as engaging as possible. Using the available chemist... Oh. Yeah, she was killing people. So when do you make people pay taxes? I assume that... This is the death tax. I don't know. Uh, You dying is a good thing. So now the question I'm going to ask is, is this guy dying even better? Subway operator, politician! No wonder you dying is a good thing. This is a new man. He's going to live, but we're going to take, we're going to read his thing anyway. Sigismund Cap Capanella. Campanella. Sigismund Campanella, 47, Subway Operating. Sigismund is haunted by the suicidal people they've had to run over. Even though there's nothing they could have done, they started writing a series of romance novellas about a nihilistic food delivery person and a rebellious library worker. In the climactic moment, one of them saves the other from jumping in front of a subway train. Oh, man. You know, that reminds me, like, I recently saw a video of a man... It, it was censored, obviously, but it was a it was a it was a true crime video about police encountering a man who had got hit by a train and both of his legs were amputated. And it ju it does really make me think, like, man, what do these operator these train operators like do? How often is this a problem for them that they that they actually have to deal with seeing somebody suicidal jump in their train in their in their vision and get pulped? That must be, like, some of the worst shit ever. I imagine that, like, that, like, vehicle crash gore is probably, like, some of the worst shit you can see in your entire life. That is something that you might see on, at least once without your own consent. Like, just because of how often vehicles crash, you know? He gets, he lives. Less environment, plus money. Well, oh well. Working at a DOT, I saw a lot of situations like that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Department of Transportation. I was trying to remember the acronym. Now, when you say you saw them, do you mean you saw the people who saw the thing? Or you were, also, or you were first to see what they saw? I see crashes all the time driving a tow truck. Oof. Like, fa like, fatal crashes. I do not understand it. I do not understand what went wrong. Cat answers with a meow of uncertainty. I did everything right. I had a plan. But nothing is happening. Time is running out. What's not happening? No. Do not mind me. There are many things overburdening my mind. We saw reports. We saw the reports of the events. Okay. Tara and I almost saw someone get pulped while I was in Osk. Oh, really? I don't remember being told this. That sounds crazy. None fatal. Hopefully never. I've But I've seen some fucked up cars. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I would assume that the people who drive lots of cars or do anything related to transportation, like... That that is a thing that they will probably be forced to see happen at least once in their life. I must get to the bottom of this. We have no time for chatting, Grim. Leave. 
You did? Oh. You know what? You probably did. Yeah. I believe it. All right. We should get a red profile here. And we should be able to get the ending. This drummer knows how to rock. Their beats are fast, technically masterful tight, and grim. The time draws near. Tomorrow will be your ultimate choice. Right now, your last chance to turn away. Do you trust me? Are you in? Are you? Mark this profile for death as the final test. Display your determination. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that is all bad. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, well... Calculations show that two humans must die. Well, we got one. So, are you new? You are... You break even. What about you? We know nothing about you. Fuck. Delicious banana sama food almost ready. Excellent news. Garnet Vignana. Painter artist. Garnet loves photography, hiking, painting, and visual journaling. They are diagnosed as bipolar but have managed to figure out a way to deal with it as such, and they are mostly happy. Garnet often volunteers at a local art gallery. This breaks even. You know what? I have an eraser, actually. I have an eraser. What happens if she lives? Only bad things? Oh, no! It's bad no matter what. Oh. Oh, that fucking sucks. Okay, well... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm so stupid. It's too... Oh, it's too late. I don't care. It's too late, and I don't care. First part of the Amour in the Tube series, titled Shipment of Devotion, garners mediocre critical reception. Crow News. Chemistry teacher dies after self-made vacuum distillation device explodes. God. Heartwarming. Students st start fundraiser in memory of beloved teacher to finance proper chemistry equipment. Oh. That's why their death is good. I swear to God, if this one singular mistake it causes me to lose the ending, I'm going to be so fucking angry. Another ordinary day. <sighs> Grim, my loyal subject. What use is any of this? You know, sometimes ideas just don't work out. The futility of planning. The yearn for peace. For freedom. Perhaps there is no fighting the inertia. It all flows. Unstoppable. No action of mine can even make a dent. I am resigned to be here forevermore. Okay. Tomorrow is the monthly review. Where your whole conduct will be judged. It will be clear if you truly belong to this office. Have a good final rest, Grim. Hey! If it isn't my good pal Grimoire. Have you already been a monk? Like you just got here a couple hours ago. You've been doing excellent work. Fate would be happier if he giddy giddy dance. The world is more or less stable. Humanity lives and prospers and all that. Heckin' great. Ain't no pl thanks, I tried my best. Gotta say, the reputation of the office is well. You keep your nose to the grindstone and bring in the good results. We've got a cause for celebration! Cheers to your first successful month. A month of grind behind that desk. May it be followed by another one. And a month after that. And a month after that. And another month after that. And a month after that. Until infinity never stops. Excellent, right? Oh, okay. Sure. What's your poison? One standard alcohol, please. Beer, then? I've got a golden Corvette. It's a lager. 
The sourness dominates the taste and lingers far into the aftertaste, yet the drink also feels too watery. Au revoir, little reaper. Which department does Caroline the Reaper work in? Oh, the, the plant one, obviously. Hey, Mortimer, let's talk. What ho, mighty? At last we meet here, the finest tavern in all the lands. Friend, seems ye have done excellent work this time round. This world, unlike many others, is feeling no pain, no charred brand, no fear and despair. Ugh. Thanks, I managed somehow. Aye, a labyrinth deftly traversed. I commend ye for the accomplishment. Ye have brought humanity as close to the ideal as one can get. For now, we gaze upon the gates of Utopia, unbarred. Can they be held open? As long as I'm here. One more spawn in an endless pile of spawns. Hoping they won't fall like them who came before. Ah, rejoice in your success, mighty. Have a final drink and be married. Are you finally going to tell me who or what you are? Still old mortal. ex heart Traitor of trinkets and curios. All around. Talent. How does she get onto the bar? Maybe she lives here. Maybe there's a, there's like, she has like a section of the bar in the back room, in the back half. That's like a bunkhouse that she lives in. It was a great pleasure to have your attention. Time to head back to me, Emporium. Congress awaits. Oh, you mean Caroline. <laughs> How does she get there? I mean, maybe there's like a little ladder. Huh? Time's running out, friend. Oh, you don't have a you don't have a new eraser for me. Okay, that's unfortunate. And we already talked to fate. Yep. All right. What the fuck? Oh my god! This is your chance, Grim. Everything rests on this moment. You only you only have one final choice to make. Fate must die. Trust yourself, your friend and benefactor. Ooh! Polito. A legend passes. Xanthip van der War dies in their office chair, the one they fought for decades ago as a young progressive. Local art gallery shuts down. Position, fate of the world, age infinite. Your boss, the highest authority in the universe, has worked at the office for an incalculable number of years. Serious, perhaps a bit too austere and dedicated, often fails at attempts of humor, depressed, despondent, morose, extremely tired of their job, hopes to end it through the destruction of the whole world. Okay. No way back now unless I find something to erase this with. Holy what? I wonder what happens if you were to make him live right here. One more stop. Hello, the grimace returns to our humble establishment. Maybe you just get endless mode if he lives? Mm. No, nothing much happens on Sundays. But you still keep dropping by the game. Here's our chance, guys. Say, you got the hots for me or something. Why is this the thing that we say? Come on. Because the truth is, yes, we do. But, like, why would we say that we're a creep? That's so stupid. You know what? Let's be a goofball. No, I'm just very thorough in my gameplay loop. Ooh, understandable. Can't let anything slip by unnoticed. Excuse me? You also are breaking the fourth wall? Well, enjoy another lazy Sunday. What can I offer you? 
Yeah, I don't understand why we're not allowed to hit not allowed to hit on her in like a more uh, you know sure. less your annoying fashion. Corpse reviver. Not that it'll help fate revive. Coming right up. Drink it alone. Again, the drink sends tremors through your system. Although the effect feels less intense this time around. I'll be going. Au revoir, little reaper. Hey, Bar, let me be honest. There's a room full of voices in my head and they're constantly reeing at you and using emotes, okay? For a moment, the music stopped and I was like, what the fuck? I was so scared for a moment. He's not even here. Continue. Wait. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Wait. Too late. You've already made the choice. You're just trying to postpone the inevitable. It's not going to get any better. All right. Bit lonely at the top, ain't it? Feels cold and empty. This is what you were aiming for. I hope you're pleased. Uh, I mean, there was another choice. Honestly, don't care. <laughs> Extremely, I deserve, you know, sure, I deserve this. The whole world finally has a reason to be jealous of you. You're the king, the king of the castle. All hail the king. Sure. The world is more or less stable. You spared it from the worst. But the way to go about it, with the petty act of revenge, of needless brutality. I did what had to be done. Oh, oh, sounds so familiar. The ghostly voice calling out from beyond the grave. Cruelty for the sake of it truly bodes well for the world, my liege. I'm not being cruel. Fuck you. Behold your throne, true dead. The ultimate usurper. Long live the king! Usurp fate and take over his new fate. Global warming. We got an ending that has to do with global warming, apparently. God, he rotted away as you gaze upon your usurped domain. Fellow traveler, that was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did pretty good. The world's mostly busy and bustling, ripe for some pirate adventures. <laughs> but I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. So there is technically one more ending that is a very easy ending to get. It just It's just called... Fate's pet. To get this ending, you must absolutely adhere to the rules and also show enthusiasm about your job and about the human killing towards fate. If everything was done correctly by day 14, fate reveals his plan to you. As a general rule of thumb, marking all humans to die on one day, then telling fate it was because you crave more because you don't like humans plus giving the gerbil to his fine, you should guarantee getting this. Interesting. And obviously when fate reveals his ulterior motives to you, agree with them. He'll start showing doubt and then reinforce you have to reinforce killing them. Cool. Alright. So I think next uh, stream will just be uh, 
going again. And it shouldn't take very long. It should maybe only be half of that stream. Lemon. Spice. And human eye. These were the ingredients chosen to make the perfect little grim. Okay, so if we're gonna be Gr Grimm's pet ending, then we need to be as cringe as possible. We must be as cringe as possible. Be the Discord kitten. <laughs> this is pretty cringe. Ooh. This one has like little pa little paws or something on it, or whatever that is. There's no Minecraft YouTuber skin. <laughs> this is, I think this might be a proper cringe right here, yeah. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Delicious cake. Okay, delicious. Right. Good, good. Spawn number we she. two, six. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, a polite grim reaper for a change. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Sub- I know what you are thinking, and yet, as it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Extremely, I'd like to get to work right now. Oh, a commitment. Yes. Onward to your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. All right. Oh, it just transports me here. Okay, we'll do we'll do literally just this one day and then we'll be done. I wasn't expecting them to like start this again, even though we've played the game four times now. Kept a lot of the things where I like them being. One human. Breaks even. This is a new person. Philip is a very random guy, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. For example, they love playing pranks on their friends and conducting occult rituals. They also have a personal catchphrase of stay out of harm's way. They are fond of animal skulls. Let me let me read what I need to do for this ending again. Absolutely adhere to the rules. Did this Grim masturbate in the theater? Oh, God. Perhaps. Who knows? I don't care, actually, about if everyone fucking dies. So, whether he lives or dies, it breaks even. Oh, uh, what? Them living was a good thing? Okay, weird. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna absolutely adhere to all the rules. Oh, that's funny. You can see... you. All right, I'm still wearing the sombrero. Hold on a moment. 
That's pretty cringe, but we can't see our cat ears if we do that. Oh, the, the, the little hat. This is actually cute. We can't wear this. It's too cute. Do we have to just go with no hat? I think we have to go with no hat for maximum cringe. We have to see our ears. <laughs> P.P. Herman. Huh. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Again, we have to show absolute enthusiasm. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today. As task. Did you figure out the best choice? I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question. No, nope, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. All right. Uh... Do I still have my money from the last playthrough? Probably. Yeah, Welcome I do. Welcome back, good customer. Tis nice of you to visit me Emporium again. Though, I may have little to provide you. I guess I now know what makes you... What really makes you infamous. Oh. Tales of me exploits have finally reached your ears, mate. Try not to worry about it. The paths we travel are not manifest, but full of many twists and turns. Do take a gander at the items old Mortimer has remaining. Let the in Obliviator. All right. Wow, they cost more every time you use them. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. Uh, we will be back in two days, Friday, if you live in the United States. And uh, we're just... So, we're gonna try to go quickly through this game. It's probably gonna take half or slightly more than half of the, of the Friday stream. And then I guess we can get into another new game. And I do have one that's weird called Hylix. It's uh, one of these abstract, strange, weird-ass games that are very intriguing, that is a cult following and all that, so... Uh, and that's a three-and-a-half-hour game, so we could probably get that done in two streams. You know, so... That's uh, that's what we'll be doing on Friday, Saturday. It's not quite as typical as usual. I'll have to cut the stream in half and all that nonsense, but, oh well, it's fine. Uh... If you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where I will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And uh, yeah, we went hella, hella overtime. So yeah, we should uh, just be finishing up for now. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon with even more death and taxes, but then also Hylix. Ciao!